I gotta get my Starbucks, right? I wanna just get my normal, the same thing y'all saw me get in the practice vlog. Cam says, what is it, Cam? It's a special drink. I can't tell them. Right, this joint's gonna be, it's already, no, tell me what it is. I can't tell them because if I tell them, it will be Bro, on what the is, Starbucks menu. <laughs> uh, it, it's a, it's a, so what, like, people can't get it? Uh, you guys got, if you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things if you. <laughs> <laughs> if I get this drink, it's, whack. it's gonna be a problem, bro. How much is is this like one of them ten dollar coffees? No, no, no. But this it's definitely custom. I'm gonna see. All right, I got. I'm I'm pulling my whole rig for this. Back home, when I when I get the coffee, I pull up to the window. They got cameras on those on those things. <laughs> they just say pull to the next. They already know what time it is because it's literally that amazing. They don't even need to ask me anymore what's in it. It's it should be on the menu, in my opinion. But Dude, I don't understand why you won't tell me. Why, why won't you tell me what it is? We're gonna tell them, but I want. <laughs> it's, you got to build up the anticipation. I mean, it's gonna be worth it. I'm telling you. you. I think you're doubting it a little bit, but it's different. He had to call his girlfriend to Just even to see what it sure. was. <laughs> he had to call his girlfriend. Because he was like, "I got this drink. I got this drink. He's like, I got this drink." Just it's so sure. great. I was like, "What is it?" It's like, "I can't tell. You. I can't tell you. I can't tell you." <laughs> right, let's see. Say I'm gonna order this joint. They probably not even gonna know what it is. Probably. What is it? What is it? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice hold coffee. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put it on cam. <laughs> it's a nice coffee. Good morning. I thank you so much for choosing Starbucks. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. What good. Can I get for you? Uh, what am I getting, Cam? It's a, it's a venti iced coffee. Venti iced coffee. Yeah. No classic. All right. Four pumps of white mocha. You said twelve. No, 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 no. <laughs> no four. Four. <laughs> Four. Okay. You'd be surprised. Like, I would get that pretty frequently. Oh damn. Right. Or yeah. Um, caramel drizzle and sweet. Oh, sweet cream. Sweet cream and then caramel drizzle. Extra caramel drizzle. All right. And the sweet cream. So now here's on the sweet cream. It's supposed to be like in the drink. It's not like just sitting on top or none of that. Yeah, I got the the. So there's sweet cream and sweet cream foam. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah, this is the normal sweet cream. And please make sure whoever's making this to really take their time on it because it's important that this comes out good. <laughs> you said, I'm sorry, make sure, what was it? Just make sure it comes out really good, please. Oh, oh, oh absolutely. Oh, here, I'm gonna say, make with long. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, I'll, and I'll, I'll order mine on it. I'm just gonna order mine on a separate one. I don't want you to do it. I'll, I'll buy yours. No, no, I'm gonna buy yours. I'm gonna get a pink drink. Yeah, what size? Uh, Grande. Let me be honest with you. That's exactly what I just no, ordered. No, it's That's not. exactly no. the same order. <laughs> it's not. I get a venti ice mocha. Yeah. White See, cream this is not foam. A mocha, though. This is not a mocha. That's that's. One What's different. the difference? No, no. Iced coffee and iced mocha is way different. Bro, you. I'm full telling crap, you. So what bro. else you get? What else you get in it? Venti ice mocha. Venti ice white mocha. Oh yeah, way different. This okay. Is totally different. White cream foam. Nope, we don't do foam on this one. Double caramel drizzle. That's the only same thing. Well, man, we're I'm gonna find out. I'm right. telling you, you're gonna never right, drink this, If this drink. drink is whack, no. if it's whack, no. listen, if it's whack, y'all like him up in the in the comments. <laughs> if it's whack, because I believe it's gonna be whack. Uh, it's gonna be white mocha coffee, and just what we got is not it's not even close to the same. I wanna see. We're gonna see. If it's, Golly, this person will hurry up. Before you drive, I gotta make sure it look it has, a, it has to have a certain look. We gonna do oh, take it back. It. That's the look. No, that's, that's the look. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is it. Who's pink? Hey, drink? come on, come on, come on, get it. Uh, <laughs> a pink. Can I try? Yes, please. Oh no, with that you don't want to. You don't want a straw with this? You have to sip it right out. Of no, we got okay. we got the hydro lids. Or you can get a straw just in case. But you want one for yours? We'll, we'll take them anyway. Uh, but first, thank you. You first, too. First, you gotta sip it with that ice. Right. That ice has to hit your lips a little bit. <laughs> Oh, uh, yo, this is what it looks like, right? Oh man, look at this. This is what I mean. It looks like what I already get. Mm, Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna do a taste test on this joint. Hold on, hold on. Take that. Hold this joint. Get it right. Hold on, let me get it. Do I gotta shake it? Just a little bit. It's gonna look. Yeah, give it a little shake. There you go. I gotta shake it. Shake no, no, it. No, no, that's, good, that's good. That's good. That's right. I like shake it good. That's right. This smells like doo doo, bro. No. Come on. Bro, it tastes like what I already oh. get. It tastes the exact same. Get and let me stir it up more. Let me stir. What what we do with the straws? Let me let me let me stir. Let me stir up. It tastes exact. It's a little bit better because it's lighter. It's a little bit. Oh. Oh. It's a little 
look all right. Come like it's on. a little lighter. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a little lighter. Let me get down here at the bottom. That's pretty good. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, it's decent. It's pretty good. <laughs> it's decent, huh? Bro, it's not, bro. But you act like I was about to be over here. I mean, on the moon. I was about to be SpaceX, good buddy. It's all right. That's about five or six sips in 15 seconds. Yeah, it's good. Oh, dang. I'll get it again. Uh, one out of 10. I, 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 one out of 10. And remember, I give you said it. It, was, it was better than the drink you already get. I ain't better than the one I already yes, did. It's like a six. Oh, this is no. like a six. This is like a six. My drink is like an eight. This is six, though. No, I mean, six. I, okay, a six point nine, bro. That's pretty good. A six point nine is it's not so bad, man. The, the footage is gonna get you. It's six six point nine is good. You said it was better than your drink because it was lighter. It's lighter. It's lighter. Like it's got a lighter. Like my drink is kind of heavy. A little stronger coffee taste, and like it's just it's just thicker. This is a little more like, uh, it's, it, it feel like this is healthier. So that's always good. I want to see that pink drink you got though. Try, yeah, look, crack, crack this. Crack, I'm telling you, try this. Here, crack, crack this open, you're not going to regret this. this I'm, no, this. I can't drink coffee and pink No, no, drink. you can't. Here, I'm going to record your, your. No, this is this is good. Look, Cam, Cam, like, Cam, let's come down here and got a pink hey, drink. My man got coconut. a pink drink. Try it, look, it has strawberries in it. This is, this is another, this is a great drink. I mean, this is probably one of the, look right here, pink drink. A uh, uh, pink drink. That's what it's called. Bro, you over here drinking hey, pink. Hey, that's all I'm that. saying is this. If it tastes good, you know, I'm just going to make the compromise. Usually, what I'll do is, because they can see me in the window, right? Ow! So, so they can see me. So when I, when I get there, I'll act like I'm reading it off my phone. I'm like, yeah, my girlfriend wants a pink drink. But it'll really be for me. <laughs> it'll really be for me, but I don't want to act, especially back home because they know me. So I'll be like, I, I think it's called a pink drink, and I won't even be looking at nothing, but they can see me, so. Oh my God, bro. You know, I'll try to make it seem like I'm not. That's the anything. lamest thing. I the mean, lamest thing I'm ever. I'm going to go there and every day. I'm gonna pour my heart into this one. This is Lake Murray, right here in my home state of South Carolina. I, um, oddly enough, I know this is gonna seem very awkward, but I've actually haven't fished here in probably 20 years, maybe even more than 20 years. Uh, Lake Murray's quite a ways from home. And being that in the upstate of South Carolina, where I'm actually from, there's so many tournament lakes right there at the house that I, I just never had a reason to come down here to Lake Murray, but I've heard the, the great things about it. Even my dad fished here a lot in the 70s and 80s, a little bit in the 90s as well, but I uh, I just never fished here. And this is the Warehouse Pro Circuit presented by Bad Boy Mowers. On number 64, thank you. Getting ready to rock and roll here. I'm both 38 today, which um, I don't, I'm always been whatever about boat numbers. I really don't care. It's the same for everybody. But uh, we're gonna run some uh, some points, try to catch a few fish on the heron this morning. I think the perfect day for me would be to catch three or four on the heron spawn this morning, and then uh, later on I'm gonna kind of just fish the bank, fish some docks. Hopefully find a few betters here and there. And practice was really iffy for me. So all I can do is go out here and go to the places where I think I can catch some fish and do the best I can. So that's what you're gonna get. It is cold, don't act too crazy with them this morning. Probably move around a good bit first till about 10 o'clock or so. Nowhere seen, I didn't have anywhere where I was like, yeah, that's that's a big group right there or anything. Mm -hmm. Pull my hands up, baby. Mm -hmm. Hopping on that. Mm -hmm. 
trust it. Do not trust it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, did he turn it loose? No, he got it. I knew it. I knew I didn't trust it. I did not trust it one bit. Did not trust it one bit. It's like got so much junk in there. Comes over that rush. Right past this where they are. That's why I let it go there. Some of them are small. He bit it. I hit him too. Huh? He bit it. Look, he barely had it. That's why. That's why I didn't catch that first one. Now, he's going to be cutting it on 14. And I think he's good. Yeah, he's 14. He's 15. He's 15. Still, the house too where they... They'll be there, and they just for they ain't going they ain't going do all that fancy for a little bit. That's a better one. That's a better one. Nope, it's not that much better, but that one actually might not measure. That one actually might not measure that time. This start, nonetheless. I'm gonna set the hook in a minute, it's gonna be about eight pounds. There's a big one. That's big. He's not big, big, but he's bigger than what I got. Actually, he's pretty good. Actually, he's really good. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, on the swim bait, a five inch diesel minnows. It's culling time already. Shall we do that? Is that what you guys would like to see? I should have did this, but I like to catch them biting instead of. All right, let me, let me see. Admit that was kind of unexpected. I was planning to do this just for a few hours, but I'm gonna run with it for the rest of the day. I got maybe 11 and a half. Everything I got is over two pounds. No big ones yet, but if I can catch two more solids, right at this point, I think I just need to look for more, more places to fish like this. Is the fish are going to be coming to me if I can find more places with a herring spawning like this? So. I'm just gonna stick with it the rest of the day at this point. I don't think I could upgrade any more by going to the bank and throwing a wacky rig around. So I'm gonna keep the bait casters and the big big baits in my hand and see what I come up with. There he is. A spot? No, he's just ugly and nasty. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's got everything going on, huh? Sure.
Got to do something though. We got a pretty good start this morning. They had to uh, pick up the old school Carolina rig to kind of get the day going. They didn't want anything moving. I, they still came up schooling on that first spot pretty good. So uh, I'm just gonna run around and keep doing what, I, what I'm doing. I think I might be able to clean up with that Carolina rig this morning. I didn't throw that in practice because I hate slowing down so much in practice because you don't really know what's out there. Let's keep going and see what I can, uh, how I can build on it. I think that's just small ones, but we'll make sure. I don't have that many more places left. Anything else? I need to try stuff though. If he hits it and comes at you with it on Carolina rig, you'll never know. It'll take you all day to figure that out. few up there they're just small maybe I should go on around the edge maybe I should go around this way they, they kept coming up schooling right here though there's a bite that might be a better one yeah that's a bite that's a big one that's a big one that's a, that's a better one that's why you gotta stay around sometimes that's why you gotta hang around sometimes he ain't that big, but he's acting like he's five pounds. It's two and a half pounder. Yeah, I like that kind. I have another buoy somewhere. Okay. I see. Actually, kind of deep. So when you set the hook on them, he's the smallest one yet. They're kind of deep. God, look at his lips. Ooh, look at my man's lips. How did he even get his hands? How did he get his mouth? What the what? God dang. Dude, every time I've ever been here, people, oh God, bro. Every time I've ever been here, there's always people here. All the only thing I'm scared of is the stripers. I feel like they might be stripers. You need a top order on those. That bass, I saw him jump on it. That was a bass. Did he jump out of the wall? Oh, he come off. He may or may not have helped. Throw something else up there. I kind of need a top water on those. Did you see them things? There he is. Jerk me. That's a better one, I think. You never know. I think he's all right. That's on jerk bait. It might be a small one. It's pretty small. He's got it sideways. Did you see all them fish jumping up there though? God, he's fat. He's 216, he's pretty heavy. Yeah, they'll get rid of that one. It's gonna be green next time. The good ones so is green next time. Dude. See? Oh, there he is. Won't help either. Got 
here's the plan. I uh, feel pretty decent about what's going on. What I need to do is if if I catch one more three pounder or four pounder, like basically three and a half or better, I probably won't go to the bank today. I kind of plan to fish a wacky rig around the banks a little bit today. But if I can, uh, if I can kind of catch one more good one, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to look for more places because I'm not going to be able to run the same order tomorrow and expect the same results. So uh, that's my plan so far. Let's just catch one more big one. In this area of the world anyway. Oh, there he is. I just don't get why they're so small. You're wasting my soft plastics is what you're doing. I wasn't even worried. That one jump, that wasn't even close to that. Dude, the hair spawn bite is getting better. It was not that good during practice. <clears throat> I almost wonder if they're like pre-spawn fish. Man. Now he's fat. See how fat they are? They don't look post-spawn to me. You're like, dang. Resource. Got He's actually not that bad, is he? Look how fat these fish are. He's too even. That's a big one. That is a freaking big one, dude. Whoa! Shit. Oh god, that's a big one. I need that sucker. Yes! 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 We're in the house now, baby! We're in the house now! <laughs> We in the doggone house now. <laughs> Where's the hook at? I can't even find it. <laughs> I was like, dude, I don't even see the hook, but I see the line. We're in the house now, cuz. It went through his head, out his face, on the other side, around his mouth. Now we're getting rid of that. That's pretty nice when we get rid of. It's a nice little upgrade. I'm a, I think I can stick with this for the rest of the day, looks like. We keep dragging points until I'm not catching them anymore and then we'll go to the docks. I do this till one o'clock. All right, let's make some noise, y'all. Come on. Come on, give me some encouragement in this comments. I need some big fish now and I need y'all to, I need y'all to do something, say something. You got it. Dude, how many? How many? How many? Now that's a bite for sure.
a lot of time when I be setting the hook and I ain't catching them, that's what they are a lot of times. And there they go. There they go. Oh, those are good ones, bro. Those are good ones. I get one of them, that's that's game changer. How's the game changer, bro? Those are good ones. You see them? That's the right kind. Dude, they were blowing that herring everywhere. Uh, I got about three or four more casts and I got to roll, 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 roll. So I don't think it was the worst day I could have had for sure. Definitely not the worst day. I, honestly, it's probably one of the better days of tournament fishing that I had in maybe a year or so. So I can't complain about the number of fish I caught. As always, this greedy bass fisherman, we always want them bigger. But I think I got some, some places I can hit tomorrow. Uh, found a few new places. I feel pretty certain I know what's going on. So the uh, all I can do is like keep trying to do what I'm doing. I think the fish should be coming to me. It's a pattern that I'm very familiar with fishing from fishing back at home. So uh, who knows? Bag them things up, put them on the scales, tie them up for tomorrow and see what it do. Fifteen pounds, fourteen ounces, Mr. Brian Latimer. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Cool. I caught. I caught a couple today. They just wasn't too big, but man, I caught the dog crap out of them. I, I'll take another day like I had today tomorrow. <laughs> When they announced this tournament on the schedule, I honestly did not even know, like I, I literally didn't even know a name of a creek on the lake. Maybe Bear Creek, because I remember watching like the 1992 Bassmaster Mega Bucks with Larry Nixon and all the old school guys <clears throat> here in 92 on TV. I remember Bear Creek distinctively. But other than that, I legit didn't know anything about Lake Murray. I just I didn't grow up fishing down here on this lake so this is the first term I ever fished here but I do have one pretty cool memory from fishing Lake Murray I got I got the chicken pox when I was like I guess probably 17 16 17 years old I got the chicken pox and I had to stay out of school well of course when I stayed out of school I didn't just stay out of school. I went fishing and did stuff too. So that particular year, um, me and my dad, while I was out of school with the quote unquote chicken pox, we came fishing at Lake Murray. I had a pretty good day of fishing too. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Oh yeah, that's where I ate it last night, Roma. Yeah. What'd you get though? I got salmon last night. Well, they say <laughs> the guy across the street said, "Man, they got a good burger." Yeah. 
I've actually, was, I've actually eaten there before. When I pick up my boats from Falcon, they almost always take us to Roma. So I've, I've eaten there before. Really? I've eaten there before. <laughs> I've eaten there before. That's they said the burger there. was good though, but the guy said the prime rib was quicker, so I got like a big boy meal. I maybe we got two things. No, I, I just got the prime rib. Oh, like prime a rib. Ounce, so I maybe sleep him through the alarm I'm tomorrow. Get that, I imagine they gotta have a good spaghetti or something. I might try that. Next Everything time. smelled good up there. I'm, yeah. Want to pull over and eat it on the way back? Did you? Uh, would you? Have, would you end up with today? Eleven pounds. Eleven something. I had yeah. 13, 13, 14. Um, I've been 71st with 13, 14. Is this like New York or something? It's so stacked. It wow. Like right there. I, didn't, I didn't think it was going to be that. Like, I was actually pretty happy with my day. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even upset. Like, I had, I had, I had fun. I'm not even going, I'm not even going to trip over y'all. Y'all do whatever y'all want to do about my result placing, but I was happy with the way the day went. I mean... I had I caught a limit on my first spot today. Well, my day you can pretty much summarize. Well, I, I thought if somebody was shooting at me. I hear like a gun or a flare gun go How off. Did you just go off. I don't know. Somehow my life jacket auto inflated, so that I this thing goes off. So the rest of the day, that was scary. I was running. Yeah, they're riding the old I was orange. running spot to spot. Are old you orgy. Me? So it it's I don't care that you have to wear it. I mean, you look pretty stupid. But every time you stop, you gotta. Oh yeah, go all the way around. Uh, it's yeah. all backwards. Now you gotta strap this thing and then get your kill switch. And... Oh my god. Oh it yeah. A lot. It's looking it's good. A lot. And then the one spot, I, I it, it's such a process to take it off, put it back on. So I stood up, you know, with the and, and fish with god, it yeah. and try to fish Holy like this. So I'm, I'm reeling the spinner bait. No, I think I, I think I'm good without fishing. Without yeah. That yeah. When you're chunking and winding like the spinner bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hadn't. Uh... Yeah, that was my day. I have a bunch of life jackets in the boat. I guess because I got so many kids, I always have four or five jackets in the boat. I have the extra, but not now. Not the right extras. No. Not the right extras. I'm going to do the same thing again tomorrow. I'm going to change nothing. At all. Same places. Call it too many. Call it too many not to do, to do something different. One spot where they're eating today, right now in the kitchen. Is it the kitchen? <laughs> Come on, good. Yeah, aromas. Yeah, aromas. <laughs> eat some aromas. Probably, I might check that out since if you say it's good. I gotta get something yeah. to see if that It was quickest thing on the menu. I was gonna get the hamburger, and he said, "Man, it's even quicker." So, prime yeah. rib after today. I need it. I might call mine in. Dude, I got this pasta thing last night. Oh, you got pasta to go? Yeah, right. Hey, go, you go to uh, go to the, the palm. This is way better than the ah, place you might go tonight. Good but they gave me so much. I got dinner from the night too. Oh, I thought you, know, you were like, taking pasta in the boat. Hey, no. <laughs> no. That would be crazy. Heck no. Heck no. I'm brewing. I brewed up some fine Starbucks. I got some premium coffee. Yeah. And now I'm drinking it. I, I got my sun gloves on from yesterday, so you have a little fish aroma. Oh yeah. So you get the stinky. waft of the uh, the Starbucks plus the fish aroma. I yeah. Ooh, I don't even know if you call it fish aroma. It's like straight up. We'll wake you up. I know that. Hey, we paying today or no? 
yeah. Are y'all part of the staff? The tournament, yeah. Are you competing in it there? Are you like yeah, competing? Yes, three dollars. Three dollars. How about two fifty? Just think that was funny. Dude, I don't think that's an airplane, bro. Kim, I've never seen an airplane do that before. You think it's a falling star? Dude, if we get over here and then it's gone. Holy crap, did you see that? We saw shooting stars today. Meteors, asteroids, whatever. Nebuluses. What's a neb? I don't even know what a nebulous is. You know, astronomy was actually my favorite course when I was in school. I feel like the rest of school was probably a waste. I can't really remember anything that I learned in school. But astronomy? Like I liked astronomy so good that I took my I took my own kids to Kennedy Space Center a couple weeks ago. But it's moving day, y'all. We always call this moving day. Nobody's well, yeah, I guess we actually do move today. I uh, I kind of feel good about it. It's the best. Yesterday was the best worst day of fishing I ever had. Best day of actual fishing with probably the poorest results from the great day of fishing and at the end of the day the 71st place after all of that you saw all of that carnage and happy and i thought i'd be okay i knew it wasn't going to be like i thought i was like maybe better than average bag is what i was going to have and 13 14 got me a 71st but i think a lot of these weights are sight fishing bags people catching catching fish off of beds uh so i'm anticipating as always today being a lot tougher which means I, I think i should have fish coming to me i'm fishing post-spawn fish and probably pre-spawn fish so in all actuality i should have more fish coming to me and my fish should be getting better i'm only like one big bite away from having a like a 16 pound day or something like that and so if i can catch 15 or 16 That'll give me about, uh, you know, probably a, about 30 total. So, and I think I'm going to need that. I think I'm going to need 15 or 16 a day to make the cut. And uh, if you listen to Chris Jones, tell me, show me your two last bass. I gotta say fishing has been fun this week though it's not like most of the time these tournaments we kind of roll through them you're just doing the best you can to catch what you can for that day just trying to make it to the next day but so it's very it's very seldom that i go in a tournament and i feel like okay they're going to be right here and they're going to be on this cast and they're right here because that don't happen that often right now I kind of feel like I know where the fish are why they are where they are so you know that's that, that at least feels good it makes it more fun too because it makes you feel like you know what you're doing so uh, overall you know like I, I, I like my chances here but man I, I, I have to get a couple big bites there's no way that what I'm doing is the wrong thing I'm doing exactly the same thing I did yesterday I ain't changing nothing nothing at all because usually I did the same thing in the last event. The first day I was in the 70s, I only caught three fish, did the same thing the second day, and I jumped way up the standings. Maybe I was in the hundreds, actually, the first day. Yeah, I was in the hundreds on the first day at Smith. I did the same exact thing in the same exact places the second day, and I jumped up like 50 spots. So uh, I ain't changing nothing. I got confidence in what I'm doing. If it feels right. I know it's right. I know what I'm doing is right. Like, sir, but 110, all right? But 111, all right, got you. See what's gonna go on today, all right? This is where I started yesterday. You never know. Sometimes there could be a boat sitting right on your spot.
built this too. Do something though, no matter what happens. All right, y'all. A lot different today. I kind of, in some kind of weird way, I did expect for it to be a little different today or, or a little tougher. As usual, that's just the way fishing goes. But I did catch three already very small ones. But the fish are still sitting on those same places. We got a little different conditions. It's bright bluebird, sunny, no wind this morning. That's making things a little different than it's been the last few days. But that's why we're fishermen. I just gotta figure out how to adjust and make it work. I know the fish gotta be coming to me. Look how fat that fish is. Holy crap. Jeez, he's chunky. Let's see how much this thing weighs. God, he's fat. He's 233. Man, lizards. Money. All right, upgraded a couple times already. I was getting worried for a little bit, but honestly, I'm only probably 45 minutes or an hour behind. The fish has definitely changed. Like I don't catch, I don't even get a bite unless they're. I don't even get a bite unless, uh, unless they're schooling. Just gotta keep moving, baby. Keep moving and sticking.
off again. All right, we got to get ready to go. We got to get out of here. I've had some bites here, but I got to kind of keep it moving. Conditions are way, way different today than they were the last couple of days. No wind, dead slick, calm. Fish are acting kind of weird. They're still in the same places because they come up schooling every once in a while. I've seen them. But I'm going to have to maybe find, hopefully, a couple new groups of fish, I guess. There's fish right here. I've lost a couple on my Carolina rig this morning. I'm not really sure why. That last one felt like a good one. I had him coming to the boat and he just, he just popped off. So let's just move. Let's move to where I caught one of my best ones yesterday. We may have to use the dock stuff that we found in practice or something. I'm not, I'm not really sure. The fact of the matter is it's different today. Ay, 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 caramba. We gotta get on it, y'all. It's uh, 110 at the moment. So I still have time, but I don't have much time. But I'm ready to get the, like, the fun party started. This has been kind of a little bit of a, not a party, more like a, I'm gonna get you sucker type of day. Got it again. I don't think he's gonna help. But it's the first bite that I've had. I don't know, he might. That's a two pounder. Yeah, he's 218. Bait ain't that big either. Yeah. I got like three spots that really have fish on them. Everything else I'm kind of guessing. I, if they would hit a top water, it would allow you to like cast farther. But there he is. That's a good one. That's a good one.
I did catch a couple big ones. Well, I caught one big one by accident. You remember my practice vlog, that one that I had the hook bent in? If you haven't watched the practice vlog, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But it was right down this little stretch of docks right here. And I actually got a couple of bites down through here. So I'm gonna fish this in these last few minutes. If you saw a practice vlog, you, you see like I didn't even plan to do what I ended up doing in the tournament. Just they bit so well the first day, they ended up just sticking with fishing the heron spawn. But I was actually planning to throw like wacky rigs around the dock just like this. Um, I, you know, after fishing a while, I kind of felt like that was the better way to go. I'm not really sure what everybody else did, but I really don't feel that sorry about fishing the heron spawn because usually that's the way you fish the fish are coming to you i felt like if i did this my my chances of catching over 12 pounds were pretty slim but evidently some guys did catch them pretty good doing this i guess there's a bite small fish so i guess they still are doing that that's not necessarily bad man Let's see. Maybe I should have switched to this a little earlier. Well, it's time to take it in. This was the awkward one. It's one I feel like I let slip through the fingers of my hands. I did the best I can. That's all I got is the best I can. Let's go weigh him in, see what I got, see where it stands. I'm sure it was tougher, but you can't worry about what everybody else does. You gotta worry about only what you can do. Dadgum, bro. The day I had 11-7. Uh, so, man, I was so confident going into this today that you know, something special might have happened, but I kept the floor in the gas, kept the gas in the floor. <laughs> I kept the gas in the floor all day. I gave it, you know, what I had, and that's that's just what I came up with is the 11 pounds a day. I just can't believe I caught that many fish and never could come across you know, a couple five pounders, but they're gonna pay one through 160 a place. And every once in a while, it tax around your time to not finish in that top 30% or so, or however many we, we paid. So this tournament was my turn to be at the bottom, the bottom of the standings. I guess it's not technically the bottom, but for us as competitors, anytime, you know, you're not in that probably top 50 or 60, you feel like you're at the bottom. What can I say? I'm gonna go get me some Starbucks and something good to eat, regardless of where I finish it. I can tell you that. So, we can get ready for that, buddy. I'm, I'm gonna have my celebratory iced coffee and a good old steak, regardless of how well I do. You guys remember, everybody that comments on this particular video, visit lakemurray.com. Um, is doing a giveaway to fish with me right here at Lake Murray after this event is over. So the, to be eligible to fish uh, to fish with me down here at Lake Murray, what you have to do is come in on this video and uh, just leave your name. Leave something nice. If you leave something dirty, I probably won't pick you, or they won't. They probably won't pick you. I don't guess I'll be the person to pick you. But check it out. Come to visit Lake Murray. Uh, come down to this area of the country. It's pretty. It's a beautiful place to come fish and hang out, bring your kids, bring your family. I'll definitely bring mine back down here. 